Hello everyone and welcome to the new video of EasyPowerBI.com. In this video, I'm just demonstrating like if you want to show uh, top items and bottom items and sometime combining both top and bottom item in a single visual, there are different ways of doing that. In this example, which I have created for you, uh, you can see that I have a table with all those brands and their sales, the quantity sold over here <coughs> and in this column we have uh, like is in top three brands of all records like no matter what is the selection whether this item falls in a brand um, in the top three brands or not so if you can see over here like this one is among top three so this one this one and this one is among top three of the brands Right now, because we have not made any selection, that's why these two columns look similar. But once we are making selection from the slicer, so these two values will be different. In the same manner, we have uh, bottom three items. So these three are among bottom three items. Once again, because we have not made any selection, that's why uh, these two columns are equal. And in the last pair, we have is in top three or bottom three so we have distinction like some of these items are falling in the top three category and some are falling in the bottom three category and once again we have the selected portion over here in the same manner uh, some color coding is done on these bars and these bars are actually showing uh, top three items bottom three items and the combination of top three and bottom three items so if I made selections like here if i am uh, selecting multiple items so it is going to show me like over here only alpha is among the top three brands uh, in all items but because this one is based on the selection and we have selected only two items that's why the first three items will always be included in the top three so here these three are the top three selected items and over here if you are uh, evaluating it based on all items in your uh, data in that case only one item falls in the top category and if I increase this further so you have this uh, combination like in this one you have uh, no bottom three items it has only one top item and this this has uh, this combination so if you keep on selecting uh, values you are going to get more uh, scenarios or more combinations so this is very uh, useful when you want to uh, uh, demonstrate like how many are top item how many bottom items or if you, within one chart or one table if you want to show both top and bottom items uh, collectively then this is very handy practice so if you can see over here in this example we have uh, three top items and three bottom items and other items which are not falling in either top or bottom categories so this is a, a very uh, important way of showing data so just quickly I'm going to show you how I did that so uh, if you go to the uh, data pane here I have created multiple uh, measures the first one is basically the top uh, the total quantity sold and then I'm uh, just checking that whether this uh, item this brand is uh, falling in that particular category like is in top three brands all record and here I have used top and and summarize and because we are checking in all records that's why I have shown all records over here and if I'm going to do the same thing for the selected records here I'm just changing it to all selected records and if it is found in that selected record uh, the top three then it will return yes otherwise it will return no and just on the basis of yes and no I'm going to define colors over here like uh, color top three all records so if isn't top three is equal to yes then it will be dark blue otherwise silver 
and for the selected one uh, dark blue and silver once again but for top three and bottom three combined for all records I have checked uh, like a nested if statement is created in which I have uh, included like in the first uh, checking I am just checking like whether it's uh, falling in the top three band yes dark blue then uh, in the second uh, condition like uh, in, in a nested form I am showing like if it is falling in the bottom it should be maroon color and then otherwise uh, if it's not falling in uh, any of these categories then the color will be silver so hope uh, you will find uh, this example uh, practical because in most of the cases you need these kind of uh, implementations so hope this is uh, going to help you in your uh, projects thank you